Hello and welcome to our daily news program, broadcast daily from Hanoi. Our latest highlights: National Assembly Chairman Nguyen Sinh Hung stressed the important role of the audit in the prevention and fight against corruption and waste. Vietnamese Ambassador to the Republic of Korea Chen Chok Tuan makes New Year visits to multicultural families in Ansan City, Gyeonggi Province. Flower markets for New Year festival have opened in Ho Chi Minh City. On February 5th, National Assembly Chairman Nguyen Sinh Hung attended a video conference of the state audit sector, which discussed directions to carry out the sector's task in 2013. The top lawmaker stressed that the audit sector has played an important role in the prevention and fight against corruption and waste. Auditing is also an effective tool to detect shortcomings and gaps in policies and laws. He said the sector should continue to complete its organization and build a systematic and modern operative mechanism to ensure operational effectiveness. The National Assembly Chairman also asked the sector to focus on evaluating the implementation of the National Assembly and government's resolutions. According to the Chief Auditor Ding Tianzhong, the State Audit Office approved the results of 148 audits in 2012. The sector detected mistakes and wrongdoings worth 13.6 trillion Vietnamese dong last year, and 74 documents not in line with existing regulations. Four cases suspected of law violations have been transferred to the investigation authorities. Auditing operations this year will focus on evaluation of economic restructuring, public investment, the use of state bonds, trade and financial institutes. On the occasion of the upcoming traditional Lunar New Year festival, the Secretariat of the Paris Center Committee on February 5th met with representatives of writers and artists from across the country. Polish bureau member and standing member of the Secretariat Le Hong Ang spoke highly of the contributions by writers and artists and culturists to the country literature and arts, as well as the nation's great revolutionary cause. He asked the National Committee of the Vietnam Union of Literature and Arts Associations to represent the will and aspirations of the members. He also said the committee should advise the party and the state in devising policies to encourage and facilitate the creative work of writers and artists. Vietnamese ambassador to the Republic of Korea Chen Chok Tuan on February 4th visited two multicultural families in Ansan City, Gyeonggi Province, and wished them a happy Lunar New Year. Ambassador Tuan asked the Vietnamese prize how they are doing in the new families and advised them to improve their knowledge, especially learning the language, to better integrate in the local community. Nguyễn Thị Nữ from Hải Phòng City has married into a Korean family since October 2011. She now has a happy family with a two-month-old son. I feel very happy to welcome the Vietnamese embassy delegation and receive the New Year greetings. This is a great encouragement for those who live away from home like me. I and Nữ have got married for two years, but I'm so sorry I was not able to bring her back to Vietnam to visit her parents. When our son gets older, we will arrange our work to visit our family in Vietnam. On this occasion, Ambassador Tuan gave Tet presents for the two families, which included Vietnamese chung cake, coffee, and wine. Trade unions and businesses nationwide have rolled up their sleeves to ensure that all workers have a habitat. On February 5th, more than 1,000 poor workers in Ho Chi Minh City brought up the bus for their free trip home, thanks to help from the General Confederation of Labor. They are among nearly 5,000 migrant workers and laborers who have been given free tickets to go home to enjoy day with their families. Over the next three days, a total of 107 buses will be dispatched to carry the workers back to their hometowns from Phu Yen Province to Hanoi. 
representatives from the Vietnam General Confederation of Labor and the Ho Chi Minh City Labor Federation came to see the workers up and wish them a safe and comfortable trip and a happy new year. On the same day, a lot of activities took place in Industrial Jones in Ho Chi Minh City. Secretary of Ho Chi Minh City Party Committee Nguyễn Thị Thu Hà judged the workers in a festival to grab cylindrical rice cake in Gawab district. The national flag carrier Vietnam Airlines officially launched a service between Ho Chi Minh City and the central province of Thanh Hoa on February 5th. This is the 39th domestic route operated by Vietnam Airlines. With five flights using Airbus A321 per week, the airroute is expected to meet increasing local travel demand, especially during the upcoming Lunar New Year holiday. The route is hoped to help promote investment and social economic development in Thanh Hoa and the northern central region, thanks to its link with Ho Chi Minh City, the country's largest economic hub. On the occasion, Vietnam Airlines also launched a promotional ticket program. Before the debut of the new air route, the number of passengers traveling between Thanh Hoa and Ho Chi Minh City via Vinh Airport in neighboring Nhi An province varied from 60,000 to 70,000 per year. Floral markets for New Year Festival have opened in many parks and streets in Ho Chi Minh City. Floral vendors from surrounding provinces are flocking to the city, carrying with them many kinds of eye-catching flowers. However, most markets still see few buyers, except for a number of central places. In 23rd September Park, peach blossom trees from the north attract a lot of visitors. Each pavilion has from 200 to 400 branches of peach trees, which is priced at between 5 and 30 million Vietnamese dong each. Despite the high price, a lot of peach trees were sold right on the first day. Traditionally, peach blossoms from Phu Thu and Nhật Tân in Hanoi sell best. I have so far sold nearly half of the trees I carry from the north. I have many regular customers, so I think I will sell all the trees in just one to two days more. Together with peach blossoms from the north, apricot blossoms are indispensable for flower markets in the south. According to sellers, due to abnormal weather, the flowers bloom prematurely this year. Therefore, they believe their apricot blossoms will sell well. This year, apart from popular kinds of flowers such as apricot, peach, kumquat and marigold, many new kinds of flowers appear in the city markets. Prices of flowers this year are almost unchanged compared to last year. Only some kinds see a light rise. Ho Chi Minh City has three large-scale flower markets this year, which open at September 23rd Park and Leventham Park in District 1 and Zadig Park in Gawab District. The city authorities have also allowed districts to open 65 other markets across the city. That comes to the end of our news program today. I'm Ngoc Hoa and the rest of the team. We thank you always for being with us and see you next time.